everybody. Welcome once again to my video blog. This will be a multi-part video blog on fallacies. You've all heard fallacies before. An erroneous or misleading logic used in an argument. Okay, some of my favorite ones. In fact, if you look in Wikipedia, there are many different types of fallacies. There's propositional fallacies. There's informal fallacies. There's formal fallacies. One of my favorite fallacies are on, on causation or correlation, correlation-based uh, fallacies. A happened and then B happened, and therefore A caused B. And many times that's not the case. I'll, I'll give the example. I go to bed every night, then the sun goes down. I did that three nights in a row. I am convinced me going to bed causes the sun to go down. We know that's not true. But what happens in life and business, we see one event happens, the other event happens, and then we think that the one event caused the other event. Well, I'll give you an example. Oh, I had three houses in a row that I didn't get. Must be my agent, he's the same agent for all three houses. Therefore, my agent presented the offer, I didn't get the offer, it's my agent's fault. Well, we know many times that's not the case. However, I'll caution you. I think our job as a, as a real estate professional, as a sales professional, is to communicate a lot with people throughout the process to make sure that people don't get stuck with a fallacy in their own mind. If we, if we over communicate, if we communicate expectations that in this market you may make seven offers and not get a property, and you communicate when the offer has been delivered and what, what was said and when you expect something to get back with you and you over communicate every step of the process, I think you're going to help yourself not be in fallacy world with somebody. I hope you enjoyed my video blog. Have a productive day.